Shalom everyone. Happy Resurrection Day of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is risen. Hallelujah. He is risen indeed. Well, uh, we have been talking about uh, Jesus Christ and all the major characters from his uh, life, like from birth to the, to the resurrection. So we have been discussing so many characters and there, there are some characters which are very, very important. Well, if we, if we talk about the Bible, we have Annas and Bar Barabbas and all battalion and uh, uh, dis disciples and Joseph, Kephas, and so many other characters are there all which are very, very important. They played a very pivotal role in the life of Jesus Christ, in the ministry of Jesus Christ. And especially when we talk about a Holy Week, when we talk about mm -hmm. crucifixion, when we talk about his all uh, trials and everything, there are so many characters which were very, very important. And uh, for the world, as we have a message that he has risen from the dead, there is a purpose behind this. It is not for me, for a Christian, or for anybody who believes in Jesus Christ. He died for all the world. So that today, as uh, usual, we are discussing about uh, is about Joseph Arimathea. And he was uh, called like a hidden disciple of Jesus Christ. He was not known to everyone. But this the last moment, he played a very, very significant role. And I just want to tell something about Joseph of Arimathea was, according to all four canonical gospels, the man who assumed responsibility for the burial of Jesus after his crucifixion. The historical location of Arimathea is uncertain. We don't know about, about him much although it has been identified with several towns a number of stories that developed during the middle ages connect him with a glastonbury england and all of other places so when you see uh, and as usual when you talk about jesus christ there are so many people those who still don't know about him they have heard about him but they don't know him and uh, Everest John is uh, one of our researchers and he is well known. He writes on different topics and you have definitely many people have seen his uh, research on different topics. So thank you so much, sir. Today you gave thank us you. time and thank you for your uh, giving us so many insights and word of wisdom and understanding how we can understand biblical topics and biblical things. Well, today we are talking about uh, Joseph Arimathea. The first question is, is there any non-biblical account of the history of Joseph of Arimathea? If there are, please explain. For our old people who are watching us, all of us, yeah, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Reverend Asam Bashir. It is my pleasure to talk about a new topic about uh, a disciple, which is called the hidden disciple, the secret disciple. Yeah. And today in USA and also I think in UK, we have Saturday, right? Yeah, and Saturday night. Day, Day of Saturday is very important in the life of Joseph of Arimathea. Yeah. Why I say it's very important? Because if you go to Apocrypha of uh, Nicodemus and Apocrypha of Peter, over there the, the, they recorded that Joseph of Arimathea, Arimathea, Arimathea was captured by a Kaifa. He was put in prison on the day of Saturday and they had planned to stone him. 
they had planned to stone him and they informed Pilate that mm. this man is, is part of conspiracy that Jesus will rise again. Yeah. So he's the person who is going to spread the conspiracy. So before the third day, we are going to stone him, stone him to death. So what happened? On, they, they could not do it on Saturday because it was Sabbath. They could not stone him on Sabbath. So they waited for Monday. But when Jesus rise up in, in the morning, the seals were broken. He was a free man. He came out of prison. When they went to find out where is he, so he was gone. He is the person who is the first witness of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 